Hello and welcome to this Google Trends in R tutorial. Let's get started. So the first thing you'll need to do in order to look at the Google Trends in R is to install this G Trends R package and you will also need the Tidyverse package. Alright. So now that we have we call the the G Trends R library. We're ready to find our country's geocode. So you can see here, uh, just by typing in countries, we'll be able to get find our country country code. I already know I live in the U.S., so uh, the United States country code is simply U.S. Uh, this just shows uh, what it looks like. All right, in order to set up your search, uh, you're going to use the G Trends function. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put in the keywords that we want to search in Google Trends to see if they've increased or, or decreased. So I'm going to use Riot and Mara, which are both uh, Bitcoin mining companies. All right. Here we're in the geo where we're going to put US. In the time frame, we could use a time frame, for example, right now it's set up here for today, so three months from today. We could also set it up for 12 months for today. We'll make that switch. So we could run that. All right, so that ran successfully. All right, so now let's look at the output. So we'll just put simply output, use a pipe summary to see uh, uh, what type of data we get. We're going to get back the data in a list format. And here the one we want to look at um, interest uh, over time. So it's this first one here. So by using this output, um, you know, interest over time, uh, we could get a little sneak peek, which is down here. Uh, the type of data, there's seven columns, uh, there's 128, or not sure exactly how many uh, rows are contained in here, oh, 104 rows. Alright, but this type of data, it's, it's a lot e easier to to take it in, in, in a, um, using visuals, so we'll use ggplot in order to uh, do a couple line uh, line graphs. So you can see we have the Mara stock compared to Riot stock. You can see it kind of hit an all-time high around here as far as searches. And then it's kind of gone into a went into a decline and just kind of been um, hovering over this level. And if you did want to get just a data frame of, of the data that we just charted, you'd simply uh, just do output and use the money sign interest over time. So we'll call it DF. And we can see we just look at the first six rows. You see this is what the data frame would look like. All right, and this... Uh, in order to do research on how to how to use the Google Trends R package, uh, I did use uh, one of the uh, an R bloggers article. I'll link it down below. Thank you for watching.